My name is Jason Wright. I am the Director of Education and Apprenticeship for Sheet Metal Workers Union uh, here in Alberta, and I'm also the Chair for the Sheet Metal Workers uh, Competition for Skills Alberta. So a little bit about what you're going to learn today in this activity. We're going to learn how to uh, cut metal. We're going to learn how to bend metal. Uh, we're going to learn how to maybe drill or fasten metal. We're also going to learn how to smooth this out some edges and make them safe as well. We work with sheet metal. Um, so the very first thing that we actually need to do is we need to actually put on our safety glasses. The reason we put on our safety glasses is because uh, sometimes when we're cutting metal or things like that, small fragments can either fly up or whatever, so we want to protect our eyes. Also, gloves. Gloves are imperative because we're working with sharp edges. So you want a good kind of a Kevlar glove or something like that that is going to protect your hand. We use uh, a combination square. Uh, we use this quite frequently. Um, we also may need a tape measure. Um, you will also receive in your kit a very long ruler that is called a circumference rule. You can use that as well. Uh, and you'll also have a marker. So today we're going to use the marker and we're going to use the scratch, or sorry, our combination square. So I'm going to set it just kind of long and I'm going to place it down on my metal, always making sure that I'm tight to the metal and the metal isn't going to move. You may want to use a clamp on your metal at this point to make sure that it doesn't move. And when we start to draw a line on our metal, we're going to want to come in at about a 45 degree angle, put it here, and it doesn't hurt to kind of roll your marker. So you want to roll it just a little bit and it will give you a nice, sharp, crisp line to be able to cut. The next thing is, this is our tool here. This is called an aviation snip. Uh, and it actually has a very small serrated edge. Uh, the yellow handle ones are for straight cuts. So if you're looking to do like a little bit more of a rounded cut, uh, this is gonna be a little bit more tricky, but this does really nice straight cuts. So I'm going to take my aviation snips and I'm going to begin to cut. Now you're gonna notice that once I kind of get started here, I want to just never quite close. You don't want to ever go like this and lock out. You see what's happening? We end up with all of these little spots here and it's not a clean cut compared to this side here which is a much cleaner cut. Okay, so now that we actually have our metal cut, we might have a bit of a rough edge. Um, your aviation snips actually have this little serrated edge on them and sometimes it leaves that little kind of a, it looks like little teeth on there. So we need to maybe clean that up a little bit so it's nice and smooth. You're all given a file like this and the file needs to be used one way. We never do a seesaw action like this. We're only gonna go in one direction and typically you wanna have this probably somewhere between a 30 to a 45 degree angle. So once we've laid out our fitting, uh, we've cut it out, uh, now we get to the folding part. So um, you should all have received one of these. This is known as a folding bar. So I'm going to make sure that it's tight, really tight to the edge, and then I'm going to physically push down with my fingers and I'm going to lean it forward, all the time pushing down, okay? but you'll end up with a nice 90 degree. Okay, so I can show it this way as well. You need to make sure that you have the right drill bit. So double check that you have a 1 8 drill bit like this. Uh, to install your drill bit, you're actually going to slide it in, okay? And then you want to hand tighten. I've just taken a piece of metal here and I've folded it over so it doesn't look super pretty, but it's gonna work for exactly what we wanna do. We want to fasten this metal together using a rivet. Now what we have to do is we've got our clamp in place. We're holding down our metal secure, as well as our uh, piece of wood, so it's all together and it's actually pretty stable. So next I'm ready to drill. So making sure that I'm over the wood and I'm in the right spot, I'm gonna give it just a couple of short bursts, okay? And what that does is it just starts the metal. If I take this away, you can barely see a mark, but there's just one there. Short bursts. Okay. 
all the way through. So now my hole is complete. Now we actually have drilled our hole and it's on both sides of our metal, but it's still pretty floppy, right? So we need to be able to fasten it together. So we have here a rivet. This is also known as a pop rivet. And you wanna make sure that the rivet is the right size. If you've done this correctly, it should. You just wiggle it in. It should be a little tight, but not bad. You should be able to wiggle it in and it snaps in just like that. Okay, so now we take our rivet tool. Okay, we're gonna open it up. And you always wanna make sure that you have the right size for the job. So I could test this rivet with all of these different sizes. Oh, that one's pretty sloppy. You want it to go in pretty tight. And so that one's just right. I'd already installed the right one. If you need to uh, change this at all, it's fairly easy. So we've got the right size. We're gonna put it here. And you always wanna make sure that your metal is never like that. It's always tight. And I'm gonna use the table to help squish, okay? And listen for the little click at the end. See that? So it wants to slide out. Every time it's just pulling it just a little bit tighter. So if you can see there now, see how that mushroom head is just getting a little tighter? Okay. And when it's complete, it will snap like that. I can pull this off and I have a nice rivet. It's nice and tight and that's the finish. Okay. Now, before you let go of this, understand there's a little piece of metal in here. So I'm going to let go. Okay. And now, that other piece slides out. So uh, here's one other tool that you're gonna have in your tool kit. Uh, this is known as a hacksaw. Uh, and a hacksaw, this is known as the blade here. So I'll teach you how to do this, but the first thing you need to do is you need to prepare it. It's shipped actually with the blade, right, uh, that is on this side to the inside. So if you were to use it right now, it wouldn't cut anything. So we need to actually turn that around. And this is also how you would change the blade if the blade ever gets dull. So we're gonna take this little wing nut here, we're gonna slide it off, just loosen this enough that it actually comes out, and we'll turn our blade around so that it is ready to cut. So now you see the saw blade is actually on the correct side, and I'm just gonna take this wing nut and tighten it back up. Make sure it's good and tight so it's not gonna move around on me, okay? And there you are, it is good and tight. Next, we have our piece of metal here, and we have clamps on it. Uh, and you definitely want to clamp down any metal that you're actually trying to cut any kind of a groove into or anything like that. Typically, we use a hacksaw just for that, cutting grooves or cutting thicker metal, but there is a trick to it. If I was to take this right now and try to go down, it doesn't really want to cut very well. You want to start the cut on a very shallow plane. So something more like this to start with. And we're gonna go in one direction, much like our file that we did earlier. You're not gonna wanna try to seesaw back and forth. This is not a wood saw, it's a metal saw. So we're going to just line it up and start like that. So I uh, really hope you've enjoyed this demonstration with the sheet metal activity. I think you guys are gonna have a lot of fun. Metal is great to work with as long as you do it safely. So have a lot of fun at Skills Exploration Days.